to 16 at this point. Six thirty-three and counting left. The Sycamore is about to win their 16th again ju against just four losses. Wow. Kazaki. <laughs> This is the lineup they finished the first half with, and I thought this particular lineup gave them a little bit of energy. It'll be interesting to see if they're able to reestablish that here in the second half. Gavin Thurman back in there. This is Devin Thomas who came up with a big play to end the first half. Ron Mavica, and the ball is hit. saying they're not in the Big 12. They get it in for Lee in the backcourt. The foul was on Bisping, his first. Illinois State breaks the pressure. Another front court, Deshaun Knight. ISU still has not scored. Tony Wills with the ball, left wing. Right side for Keene. Takes the ball to the basket, shovels it to Wills. He'll lay it off glass and in. Good ball move. Poole makes them both. He's got 13. Next up in 35th is Ronald Moore. Almost a turnover as Hunter's got it for ISU. Pushes it ahead, Paris Lee with a minute 30 to go. Saints by 13, matching their biggest lead of the game. Lee, right side, Hunter, right corner for Keene. Kicks it out for night three. It's good. Briante Weber was joking about it. He said he's not the Burge, then of course Bradford Burgess, who started more games than any Ram in history. Jordan Burgess hasn't shied away from his brother's legacy, by the way. He took the same number as Bradford and then went on to say 20 while they're sending out over there. He came back with the mentality of that I'm going to take over. Now let's see how ISU answers. He is such an improved shooter. You're right, the veterans need to come back and they get a three from Kazaki. 